make some noise for your next comedian. He goes by the name of Ryan Joseph. Ryan Joseph. Here we go. Feel this way. My girl, my girl, my girl. Talking about my girl, my girl. One more time for Ryan Joseph, everybody. Uh, in third grade, my teacher caught me cheating, but I swear I was always faithful to her. <laughs> I'm not going to send dick pics to girls anymore, just women. <laughs> Do you guys remember when we used to uh, take showers with our parents? <laughs> it's such a weird way to learn how to shave. My friend called me this morning. He was like, hey, man, I can't stop thinking about those Mexican kids in cages. I was like, yeah, that was a crazy party last night. <laughs> I was molested when I was in summer camp. The guy said he would kill my family if I ever told anyone. So I told someone right away. Wow, look at that. Ryan Joseph. Ryan Joseph. That was incredible. Some young lady earlier told me that it was impossible to be funny in a minute. And uh, meanwhile, you found a way to squeeze in eight hard hitting yeah. punchlines in 60 seconds. You saved the show. <laughs> oh, hey. thank you. <laughs> Ryan, how long have you been doing stand up? Uh, eight months. Wow, look at you. Eight months. Let's check in with Annabelle over there. And how long have you looked like a steamy Confederate war monument? <laughs> <laughs> Here, take a step back. Stand right between Annabelle and Tim Dillon there so we can all see each other here. You, you remind, me, remind me of my sister. Oh, shit. That means he's going to fuck the shit out of you. <laughs> I already know Ryan Joseph's style. I know where you're going with that one, Ryan. I'm ahead of you. I like your brand, dude. So eight months in the game, that's fucking awesome. How old are you, Ryan? Uh, 35. 35. Beautiful age to be right now in this wonderful world. Uh, that's great. And what do you do for work? I'm an instructional designer. Wow. What does that mean? Like, I build courses online. You know, if you ever had to take, like, a... Uh, orientation course at your work. You take it on a computer, and uh, that's what the kind of stuff I build. That's awesome. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's so great. And what made you want to start doing stand-up comedy eight months ago? What made you make the switch at 35? I don't know. I just started doing it. I just woke up, and I was doing it. <laughs> hey, hey, wow. Look at that. <laughs> Sounds Jesus. like you're defending yourself in court. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's like the, 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 the plot from the movie happening. Big. Did you go to one of those Zoltar <laughs> fortune teller machines yeah. before this or something? Yeah, I was just like, holy shit, I'm uh, doing comedy. <laughs> Do you suffer from sleepwalking? Is that a problem that you have? <laughs> yeah, I just woke up and I was like, um, I'm going to keep doing this. I don't know why, but I'm going to keep doing it. Wow, I love it. What do you do for fun when you're not uh, doing instructional design or whatever that? that yeah, shit it's is. not fun. Yeah. Um, How about <laughs> hobbies or anything like that? You seem like a guy that likes to fucking uh, wear birthday hats on days when it isn't your birthday. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Um, I really just spend a lot of time writing and uh, going to mics. Um, sometimes I'll hang out with my girlfriend. Oh, wow. <laughs> How long have you two been dating? Yeah, how long have you two been dating? <laughs> we've been, <laughs> we've been uh, dating like 18 months, I think. Wow, you count by the month, huh? <laughs> yeah. Look at you, a loyal soldier indeed. Yeah. Where'd you meet her at? I met her in Florida. Orlando? I met... <laughs> it was uh, a classic boy meets girl story <laughs> in an in a AA meeting. Oh, look at that. Nice. How long are you sober? Uh, I haven't had a drink in like seven years. Congrats. Mm. Congrats. Seven. Yeah. Yeah. Do you smoke weed? No, I'm uh, totally, 
totally clear. So you're not like you're not like LA sober where you're on ayahuasca right now. <laughs> <laughs> Mushrooms no. on the weekends. I'm pretty addicted to just like being totally just clear and I like it's like a drug for me almost now just right. to be like uh, Well, it seems like it is, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I have a couple friends that got sober and they keep getting more addicted to that feeling of getting clearer and clearer. Like they'll go no sugar, they'll go keto, yeah. they'll do all these things. To yeah. like and then you go back to heroin. It's like a yeah. real, <laughs> it's a fun circle. Yeah, you fall yeah. hard. What was, the, uh, what was the drug of choice? Was it just alcohol or? No, nah, it starts when you're like smoking weed and then all of a sudden you're snorting oxys off a hooker. It is a gateway drug. Fuck. Yeah. Okay. No, no, I was... um. I got into, like, everything, but at the end, it was just pills. Right. Yeah. Painkillers. Yeah. You were doing a lot. How many? How much money is worth a day of painkillers was at your worst? Those pills got expensive, man. They were, like, uh, $20 a pill, but so I never could afford that much. Usually just one or That's two. That's why we need health care. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. Does your girlfriend ever go see you perform? Does she come to any of your shows? Yeah, she comes once in a while. But a lot of my jokes uh, are about her, mm -hmm. and so she gets kind of weirded out when I talk about it. Hell yeah. How did you talk one? about me all night? <laughs> yeah. And there you go, Annabelle. What's uh, something crazy about you that we'd be shocked to know? A fun fact about Ryan Joseph in your life or your upbringing or anything like that? I uh, used to write erotica. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. My number one bestseller is Sucking Mr. Spencer. Oh, my God. What's, uh, what's like, a highlight if you could give us a couple lines that you remember of that? Uh, of There's, that. It's about, like, a guy that he's, like, in the closet, and his roommate, his womanizer roommate, takes him home for Thanksgiving. And then he, like, wakes up one night, and he goes to the fridge, and he sees, like, Mr. Spencer on the porch smoking a cigar. And he goes out there, and, he, and Mr. Spencer could see that he's, like, really gay inside. And he... <laughs> <laughs> and he and he makes them like blow him on the porch while he's smoking a cigar are you writing this right now <laughs> Tony I don't know did you see Tim's body language right now? He sat back and really listened. I was really enjoying that. I Tim. thought it was going to come to a, a very fun holiday yeah. conclusion. Yeah. It's my it's my bestseller. Tim yeah, just pulled seller. a cigar and a lighter out of his yeah. pocket. He's, he's, Tim spread his legs. Yeah. I don't know if you can see, but they are. It, it gets you going. Where could we find that if we wanted to? I'm asking. I'm asking as a joke. On Amazon. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Amazon. And one more time. What's it called? <laughs> Sucking off Mr. Spence. <laughs> Sucky Mr. Spencer. I wrote a lot of gay erotica. Oh, wow. Because it Did sells the most. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Seems, seems Girls like, read it, too. Heck seems yeah. like you're hiding a pretty significant life issue that he got. I know. <laughs> wow, we wow. found wow, it. Wow, it's got two ratings, four, star, four stars. Yeah, that's, See, your best, four that's the best That's seller? from his mom and his dad trying to support him. <laughs> Oh my God! Look at this. There's uh, it Keisha. got some good reviews. Keisha says a very short and hot story. I love older men with younger men. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Only four stars on that one. That was from 2018, July 7, 2015. The letter L said, "I like the older, younger type of relationship." So this hits the spot for me. Solid writing too, and straight to the point. Ha ha. Wish it was longer, though. Oh. Yeah. I bet, <laughs> I bet they you do. do. These gay men always wish it was longer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. All right, Ryan. Well, I mean, unbelievable set. Fucking perfect interview. Killed Just it. absolutely Killer. great. Killer. Incredible. You guys like having fun? You understand how the show works? There you go. That was great. That's the first time we've ever even seen Ryan Joseph. Ryan, you got to come back. Keep signing up. We want to see more of you. Wow. Uh, my name is Annabelle, and I'm so, so sorry. I apologize for us being late. We were putting our faces on. <laughs> oh, yes. Indeed. Looks like you still had some more work to do. Uh, it's like we really rushed you. And then uh, who's that uh, sweet piece of apple pie next to you there? Mm, my name is Isabel, Tony. <laughs> Isabel, okay. Yes, sir. I think I'm sensing... <laughs> I think I'm sensing a theme over here. That must mean that this back here is uh, Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. <laughs> <laughs> I was originally going to guess the bloated corpse of John Benet Ramsey, but uh, oh. 
I'll you make doing? you run for the border, Tony. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at ding you. Ding dong. <laughs> <laughs> ding dong, indeed. We've seen enough of your ding dong lately. Uh, so welcome Taco welcome. Bell to the episode. <laughs> <laughs>